Okay, in this video we're going to do two examples. We'll roll one dice and uh, calculate some probabilities and then we'll roll two dice and calculate some probabilities such as, you know, the sum of seven, the probability that the sum of the dice is less than three, um, stuff like that. Okay, so uh, let's take one dice and if, if you want, please press pause and find a dice, uh, actually find two dice in your house would be best and uh, we'll do this okay so well example four um, I'm hoping you can kind of press pause and do this whole thing really quickly yourself so if you roll one dice what are the possible outcomes right if you roll one dice you can either get a one a two a three a four a five or a six that makes sense What's the probability of getting a 1? There's 6 outcomes. And um, as long as the dice isn't weighted too much, you know, the probability of getting a 1 is pretty much 1 chance out of 6, right? Uh, just a note on that um, most dice, they actually have a, have a, a hole, so they actually have some. A little cutout for each for each number, right? So, really, like if you were to be very exact, you're actually most likely to land on a six because underneath the six is a one, and this is actually the heaviest side, so to speak. This is the lightest side because there's more holes in it. But let's imagine the dice doesn't have holes in it. But but just 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 so you know, just that's an interesting point. But but uh, yeah, pretty much it's one chance out of six to get a one, right? So what's the probability of getting a 5? Write down the answer. Probability of getting a 5? 1 chance out of 6, right? What's the probability of getting a 1 or a 3? And then a 4 or a 5? Do these ones. 1 or a 3? Probability of getting 1 or 3 is 1 out of 6 to get a 1 plus 1 out of 6 to get a 3, right? So that's one or three, that's two chances out of six, right? Put that in lowest terms, and we get one third. There's a one third chance of getting a one or a three. What's the probability of getting a four or a five? Write down the answer. By all means, press pause and do this whole thing. Just press pause, do the whole thing real quick, and then check the video. Right? I'm gonna go through it slowly in case anyone needs help, but probability of getting a four or a five. Well, here's a four, here's a five. There's two chances out of a total of six chances, right? So two out of six, which equals one third. So press pause and do this, these two. Probability getting a one or a two or a five, then probability getting two, three, or four or five. Okay, I hope you've tried it. Probability getting a one or a two or a five. If you just, I want one, two, or five, but I don't want three, four, or six. Well, the chances, there's three chances out of six, right? So, and that makes one half. So, what's this one? One, two, three, four chances out of six, right? Which is two thirds. Two thirds probability of getting a two, three, four, or five. What's the probability of getting a seven? Then, what's the probability of getting a one, two, three, four, five, or six? Press pause and do these ones. Press pause if you need more time. You roll a dice, what's the probability of getting a 7 if you roll one dice? Zero chances out of 6, right? Or zero. Zero percent chance. Impossible event, right? What's the chance of getting a 1 or a 2 or a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6? So I just need one of those. What's the chance of getting one of those? Six chances out of six, right? Which equals one, or a hundred percent. So that's a certain event, right? Hundred percent chance of getting one, two, three, four, five, or six. Zero percent chance of getting a seven, right? What's the probability of getting not getting a two? Write down the answer. Have you got it? So. To not get it, if you want to get not a two, then that you're okay with one, three, four, five, or six. 
the chances of getting one, three, four, five, or six is five out of six, right? And just for fun, I'm going to do use the theory that probability of not uh, equals of a of probability of event not occurring equals um, probability of event not occurring equals one minus the probability of the event occurring, right? So probability of not getting a two is one minus the probability of getting a two. What does that make? One minus what's the probability of getting a two? One over six, right? So this is of course six over six minus one over six, which is five over six. So what's the probability of not getting a four? Press pause and do that. Do it both ways. Kind of count it and then and then use the the not formula. So the probability of not getting a four is means you can get either one, two, three, five, or six. That's five chances out of six. Or you could say it's one minus the probability of getting a four, which is one minus what's the probability of getting a four? One sixth. So that's six over six minus one over six, five out of six, right? What's the probability of getting of not getting a four or five? Not getting four or five, one, two, three, four chances. You can get a one, two, three, or six. So that's four out of six, or two thirds. And just for fun, we could write that as one minus the probability of getting a four or five, <laughs> okay? Which is one minus two third, or sorry, uh, two sixths, which is of course six over six minus two sixths, which is four sixths or two thirds, right? Press pause and write this one down. Probability of not getting a two or a six. Not getting two or six means you could get one, three, four, or five. That's four chances out of six, right? Or two thirds. Okay, let's have a look at the next example. We're gonna roll two dice and add the numbers. List the possible outcomes. What is the probability of getting a sum of two? Then what is the probability of getting a sum of three? What I'd like you to do is go ahead without writing anything down, see if you can get the answer to this. So the point is you've got two dice, you're gonna roll them, okay, roll two dice. What's the probability that they will their sum will add to two? What's the probability their sum will add to three? Write down the answer. Okay, I'm going to do it now. The probability of getting a sum of 2 is 1 out of 36. Did you get that? The probability of getting a sum of 3 is 2 out of 36, which is 1 out of 18. 1 over 18. Now, if you haven't got that, then you might need to list the possible outcomes. In fact, I'd like everybody to because this question, there's a little more to it than what meets the eye. So what I want you to imagine is that one of my dice is, is kind of red and one is you know kind of blue, let's say. So I've got two different dice. I've kind of got a, a red one and a blue one, or, or they're, they're different, right? They're not the same. This is not the same as this, is it? Right? So what I'm trying to say is my blue, my first dice could be a one. Okay. First dice could be one, and then the other one could be a one or a two, or a three, or a four, or a five, or a six. Right. So, if my first dice is a one, the other dice could be one, two, three, four, five, or six. Okay. If my first dice is a two, the other dice could be one, it could be um, two, could be three, could be 
4, 5, or 6. So that's another possibility when I roll it, right? So if the first dice is a 2, the other dice could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. So now this is, we've just listed, this is 6 possibilities. This is another 6, that's 12 possibilities, right? If the first dice is a 3, the other one could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, couldn't it? That's another 6 possibilities. What else have we got? So list the rest of the possibilities. The first dice could be a 4. And I'm writing all these down so you can too, right? It's just writing down numbers. Not as much writing as if you were doing Shakespeare now, is it? Alright, so... So yeah, it is a little bit of writing, but we'll get through it together. So the first dice could be a 5, and the next dice could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Or the first dice could be a 6, and the next dice could be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Does that make sense? So these are all the possible outcomes. There's a lot of outcomes there, isn't there? We went from rolling one dice for our possible outcomes were just one, two, three, four, five, or six. Oh my goodness, look what happens when you roll two dice. And if you roll three dice, it gets even messier, right? There's a lot of possible outcomes. How many possible outcomes have we listed? Each, we've got six, 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 six. Six sixes, right? 36, we've got a total of 36 possible outcomes. Agreed? And how did we get the probability of a sum being a 2? Okay, um, here's how we got that. 1 and 1 makes 2, doesn't it? This is a sum of 2. And this is the only combination where both dice are going to add to 2. And this is only one possibility out of 36. So the probability of getting a sum of 2 is, of course, 1 out of 36. Sum of 3. Either the first dice can be a 1, and the next dice can be a 2. That's one possibility. Or the first dice can be a 2 and the next dice can be a 1 okay so that's the first dice a 1 next dice 2 first dice 2 next dice 1 this is your sum of 3 okay and all the other possibilities are more than 3 aren't they so this is to get probably get the sum of 3 again is 2 out of 36 or 1 out of 18 okay what is the probability of getting a sum of 4 if you roll the dice and they add up to 4 press pause and do that if you need more time but hopefully you can see it so my point is if you take this dice here it's a 5 and a 6 it's that's a sum of 11 so that doesn't work 6 and 6 is a sum of 12. That doesn't work. 4 and 4 is a sum of 8. Where can you see dice that add up to make 4? 1 and 5 makes 6. 1 and 4 makes 5. 1 and 3 makes 4. There's 1, right? Also, 2 and 2 makes 4, right? There's another one. Also, 3 and 1 makes 4. So, I see 1, 2, 3 possibilities that make a sum of 4. Do you see any more? These make 5, these make 5, this makes 6. So all these are going to be more, right? So if 1, 2, 3 possibilities, 3 out of 36, which is 1 twelfth. If you roll a dice, there's a 1 twelfth chance that the sum will be 4. Now, press pause and do this. Probability of getting a sum of 5. 
What's that? And then probably getting a sum of six. Then we're going to do a sum of seven. Then we're going to do sum of less than three and all that type of thing. You can, by all means, you can press pause and do the whole thing, you know. And then check the video. Probability of getting a sum of five, but of course I like to go slow just to make sure everybody understands. Probability of getting a sum of five. I have one and four makes five. Two and three makes five. Three and two makes five. And four and one makes five. Anything else? No. So these guys. I have many either. One, two, three, four. Four chances that make a sum of five out of a total thirty-six. Right? So four out of thirty-six and put that in lowest terms, what do you get? What's four into thirty-six? One out of nine, right? What's the probability of getting a sum of six? Probability getting a sum of six. Write down the answer. Okay, I'll do it now. You can either get a one and a five, or a two and a four, or a three and a three, or a four and a two, or a five and a one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five chances of getting a sum of six. Five chances. So that is. 5 out of 36 and that cannot be reduced so that chances are just 5 out of 36 now press pause and do this in yourself what's the probability of getting a sum of 7 you get 1 and 6 or 2 and 5 or 3 and 4 so 1 and 6 one on the first dice, six on the other one. That's a chance of that. That's one possibility, right? Or you could get two. This could be a two, and this one could be a five. That's another chance possibility. So one and six, two and five, or this one could be three, and this one could be four, or this one, that one could be four and that one could be three and that's a different event it's a different event for this one to be four and this one to be three right than for this one to be three and this one to be four right that's two different events so three four four three they're different uh, this one to be two this one to be five that's a different event than five two isn't it five two right that's a different event they're two different things that could that could both make seven so we get one two three four five six chances where they add to seven one and six make seven two and five make seven three and four make seven right so you might think there's only three chances but there's actually six right if you think about it. anyway okay say so probability getting a sum of seven is six out of thirty six which reduces to one out of six what's the probability of getting a sum that's less than three Sum that's less than three, well, less than three means um, probability of getting a sum that's just two, doesn't it? Because two is less than three. That's the only way. And what is the probability of getting a sum of two? Well, it's one one. This this one possibility out of thirty six possibilities. One out of thirty six. What's the probability of getting a sum that's less than four? Some less than four, okay. Less than four, well, probability of getting a sum three, or two, right? So it's the same as getting a probability of uh, the same as the probability of getting a three or getting a sum of three or a sum of two, because they're both less than four, right? And one two two one these guys add up to three and this one adds up to two so that's we can take this this or this out of 36 possibilities these three will work right this one this one and this one so this this is three out of 36 or one twelfth okay what's the probability of the sum being less than five write down the answer 
and then some less than two. So press pause and do these guys and I'll do it then. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. So probability of sum less than five is the probability of, get, of your sum being four or three or two, right? The probability of your sum being four is this, this, and this. Some being three, that's these two, and some being two, that's this one. So you're talking about one, two, three, four, five, six possibilities out of 36, right? What's 636 in lowest terms? One sixth chance, right? And now this one, what's the probability of your sum being less than two? If you toss two dice, what's the probability that the sum will be less than two? Less than two is one or zero, right? So it's like having a, a, a sum of one or zero or, or less. Is that possible? That's impossible, isn't it? So probability is zero or zero percent. Zero percent chance of that happening, right? What's the probability that at least one of the dice is six? Write down the answer. The probability that at least one of the dice is a six. And you can look at, this is why we write this out. It makes it so much easier. Oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five, six possibilities. Do you agree that it's six possibilities? Oh, what about these guys, right? See, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven possibilities out of a total thirty-six. So eleven out of thirty-six. So if you're playing a game and you need a six and you're rolling two dice, the probability of getting a six is eleven out of thirty-six. Right? What is the probability of um Neither of the dice is a six. Probability that neither is a six. Well, just for fun, that's actually equal to prob one minus probability that that um, one one of them is a six, or at least one is a six, which is one minus this guy, eleven thirty-six, or thirty-six mi over thirty-six minus eleven over thirty-six or um, 25 out of 36, right? And if we check that, neither of the dice is a 6. So that means we can't have any of these, and we can't have any of these. So it means we can have either these guys or these guys. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 25 possibilities there, right? So, um, like we said, 25 possibilities out of 36, right? So do these guys. Probability that at least one of the dice is a 4, probability that neither of the dice is a 4, and then probability that neither of the dice is a 3. Press pause and do those guys, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and try it. I'm going to do it now. Probability that at least one of the dice is a 4, means that one of the dice is an actual four. I mean, so we can have one, two, three, four, five, six, one of these possibilities, or this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, right? So probability that at least one of the dice is a four is eleven out of thirty-six. Probability that neither of the dice is a four is any of the other ones. So anything apart from these guys here and here, right? So basically 36 minus 11, right? So it's basically 36 over 36 minus 11 over 36, 25 over 36. What's the probability that neither of the dice is a 3? Write down the answer. So we're taking out all of these, so we don't want any of these, and we don't want any of these guys, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, 3, they all have a 3 in them, we don't want any of these guys. Now the rest don't have 3's, so you can count them all up, and again you'll find that it is 
25 out of 36.